Okay, guys, now is the time to install this into your computer so you could get the program running so you can start using your capture card. Now, for some computers, it might not pop up saying that the program is automatically started. So you might have to go to your computer source and start it up yourself. So in order to do this, you go to your start menu, then you go to computer. Now, for some people that use XP, it's going to say my computer. So after you've clicked on that, you'll see you have... Well, this is my computer, but some computers might not always have this, but you will see your DVD RW drive. So click on that and it should load the program. I'm going to close this because now it's loading the program. Now it might take a couple seconds for it to come up, and here it is. This is the program right here. Now it's actually to choose a language. You should choose English or wherever you're from. So I'm just going to choose English. Now it's installing this program. It's actually installing the installation drives into where you can install the program. Now at this now this time it can take a long time for you to install this program. So I advise you to have some free time on your hands to be able to do this. Okay. Now we're brought here to where you can now install the program. Now I'm going to fast forward this part because this takes a long time. And YouTube want to give you a set time limit, so I'm going to fast forward this part. Okay guys, now you're done finish installing the program. Now we have to launch the program. Now when you launch the program, it's going to ask you some information. So be ready to have some information ready for the program. Now if you see here, it's asking for your first, your last, your email, your um, country, and your security number. Now the security number is basically located in the front of the CD's holder. And it's all, it reads off digits. It reads off, actually, it just reads off letters. So here's mine. So it says the code. Here's mine. Okay. Now you can just copy and paste this from a notepad into one. And I'm going to press OK. Now if you see, mine's launched. Successfully and everything. Now we're going to plug in our Dazzle Capture Card. After you plug in a DASU, you want to hit select capture source. So hit that. Now don't double hit it, just hit it one time. Now it probably might not show the first time. So if it does not show, close the program out and relaunch it. Now for some people, it's going to scan the software, it's scan everything so it can clarify. This is a Dazzle capture card. So now we're back in. Now I choose the source of capture. Okay, and here's my Dazzle. Dazzle DVC 100. Now choose that. And now you're going to see my dashboard. My Xbox 360 dashboard for help one-on-one's profile. Now choose where you want to save this to. Now you can save this to anywhere you want to. But you have to choose your hard drive. So I'll go to hard drive and save it to your desktop, wherever you feel. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Now right here, you can choose a theme, but I don't advise you to choose a theme because it slows down this program. Very slows down. It slows it. It slows. It really gets slow. So here over on this section where it says recording, you can choose the time, the time limit you want this, this to record your video. So you can choose it to be five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes. So I'm just going to choose about a minute recording. Now you always want to set this to best. Never set this to good, automatic, always best. Now let's start recording something. Okay, now I'm going to stop recording because I'm is the time limit for this video. Now if you see it's stopping... Don't worry, your computer's not freezing when it's stopping like that. Now, you hit here to where you can start over or you can just end. Now, I'm just going to press end.
Now, let's launch the let's launch the folder that it just gave me. Now, if you see here, you do not actually have a video. It only records in VOB. So you have to go out and get a converter that has VOB programmed into it. Don't worry, I have a program for you guys. It is called VOB to AVI. Now, it's simple, it's a it's a very easy program. It's not it's not any charge, it's free. So I already put this in the description, so just look in the description and click it. Now, my program is right here. I'll close out all this stuff. My program is right here. Now, let's launch it. Now, I'm going to hit run. I'm going to fast forward this part so we can get through this. So, let's fast forward. Okay. Now, here's the program. It launches automatically from the ending of installation so now let's open and let's find that folder that the video was located in here it is now you wonder where's the video now in order to know which video size which actually which video it is you have to look for the biggest size so you have giga kb and megabytes megabytes is always the biggest so you're going to choose the one with megabytes now you could choose your outport video source so you could choose wmv VO, MVO, it's different ones here. I advise you to choose WMV because YouTube or any other way. Do not mess with this. Leave that at normal because it will keep the same at pixel as ratio. Don't don't touch that. So now click convert. Now you have to choose where you're converting it to. So choose the second one. Go to users. Now choose your computer's name. If your computer's name is Justin, whatever, just choose your computer's name. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now, it's going to start converting. This is very fast. It's depending on the stretch of your video. So, if your video is three minutes long, it's going to take a pretty while to, to finish, finish it. So, successfully saved. Now, let's close out the program. And let's launch it. Now, here's my Windows Media Player launching. Now, there's my dashboard for my Xbox profile for help one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, guys, I hope this video helped you out in many ways on how to set up your Dazzle. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in a future video. Put in, put in the comments of what you would like me to do next time. Okay, guys? All right, help one-on-one, -on -one, out.